t-shirt is way too tight in my bust and in my arms and I would like it much looser. This is just too tight. So today I'm going to show you how to make your t-shirt bigger. This method is going to work for any t-shirt and I'm going to go over how to make just the arms bigger, just the waist bigger, how to make it bigger for you in all the right spots or just bigger overall. So let's get to it. Let's make this t-shirt bigger. The first thing you need to do is figure out where do you want your t-shirt bigger? Is it just in the arms? Is it just in the waist? Is it everywhere? Another method is taking the shirt that's too small and laying it on top of a shirt that fits you great. And then measuring over to the edge of the shirt that fits you great and seeing what the extra is. The first thing we wanna do is open up the shirt on the side. This shirt has a side seam so I could seam rip it, but a lot of times t-shirts don't have a seam here. So what you wanna do is take the shirt and just lay it nice and flat so that way it's nice and symmetrical. And then what you're gonna do is just cut up the side of the shirt through the arm as well. If you're opening up the arm, if you're just opening up the body, you just cut up to the armpit. So like I said, with the seam, you could seam rip this open, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right where that seam is. And there we go, we've got the side of our shirt open. And anywhere you have this extra bulky little surge, if you had a seam there, you can go back and just chop that off. But if you didn't have a seam at the side, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Now do the same thing to the other side of your shirt. Now we have both sides of the shirt open. Now that we have the side open, what we need to do is measure from the hem all the way to the opening of the sleeve. So that way we can figure out how much fabric we need to cut. So let's go ahead and pull this straight. And it looks like I need about 14 inches in length plus seam allowance. So I'm gonna give myself 15 inches of fabric in the length and I want it two inches wide. I want two extra inches here in the side. So two inches plus your seam allowance. I'm gonna be surging this together today. So I'm gonna give myself an extra three eighths on both sides. Now you need some fabric to get into that open seam. Today I'm gonna to be using this pink leopard to contrast this pink striped shirt, kind of fun and funky, right? But if you want it to match, you know, let's say you've got a black t-shirt and you need some black fabric. You could take it from an existing t-shirt or you could go to the fabric store and get some fabric that matches your shirt. It's really up to you and what kind of look you want. Now it's time to cut our fabric and I need two pieces of fabric, one for each side of the shirt. The length is gonna be 15 and my width is gonna be two and three quarters. Yours could be different. So I have my rectangle drawn out, 15 inches in length and two and three quarters wide. And now it's time to cut it out. I have my fabric layered, so I'm going to get two at the same time. There we go. Now I cut a rectangle to go from the bottom of my sleeve to the bottom of my shirt. But let's say you don't want to open this up all the way into the sleeve. It's very possible to stop right at the underarm. And then what you would end up with is basically a little triangle shape that you would inset into it. So you wouldn't be having a rectangle. You would basically be setting in a little triangle from the hem to the underarm. So it would essentially look like that in shape. And you would do this if your sleeve fit you fine, but you needed more fabric in your body. It's basically like putting a go day into your side seam. And if you don't know what a go day is, it's essentially inserting a triangle piece of fabric into a straight seam. Now let's say it fits good in the sleeve, it fits good in the bust, but you just need a little more room in the tum tum. Well, I'm gonna show you how. To do that, you're going to insert a triangle shape from your waist down to your hem. Now this could be wider, this could be narrower, you know, whatever you need to add to your shirt, but essentially it's gonna blend into your waist and then extend out to your hem. And those are basically the three options you're going to need to make your shirt wider. Speaking of altering the shirt, if you wanna make your shirt smaller and tailor it to you, I also have a video on that. So make sure you check out that video down below in the description. Now let's get into some sewing. The first thing we're gonna do is finish the short little ends on the rectangle. And by that, I mean we're just gonna hem the ends. So I left a half inch here, so I'm gonna flip it up a half inch and I'm gonna broken zigzag the end because that's a great stitch for knitwear. And then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other end. I'm just gonna flip this up a half inch and zigzag it down. And I'm gonna do that to both pieces. 
So I'm hemming up the ends a half inch. Don't forget to backstitch. And you can see that broken zigzag stitch there. That's gonna stretch with my knit. Now on to the other side. And now do the same thing to the other side. Now that our ends are finished, we're going to sew them into the side of the shirt. Now we need to place right sides together and I'm gonna pin them together. I decided to use the regular sewing machine because I know a lot of you don't have a serger yet. So we're going to be using the lightning bolt stitch or the knit stitch on your sewing machine. And because it's knit, it's not gonna fray and fall apart. So you actually don't need to worry about finishing your edges if you don't want to. The lightning bolt stitch on the sewing machine is gonna allow your fabric to still stretch. So that way when you're moving and wearing it, it's not gonna pop and fall apart. Whatever you do, don't use a straight stitch because that possibly will pop and fall apart. Now that we have that all pinned up, we're gonna take the back of the shirt, fold it onto the front of the shirt, right sides together, and go ahead and just pin up the other side of that rectangle to the side of your shirt. And now we're all done pinning this extra piece of fabric into the t-shirt. Now we're gonna sew from the bottom of the sleeve to the bottom of the hem on one side and the other side. And don't forget your seam allowance that you left. I left 3 eighths of an inch. You could have left more, you could have left less. So if you're looking for the lightning bolt stitch, it looks like that. It's called the stretch stitch, but I like to call it the lightning bolt stitch because it looks like a little lightning bolt. Um, I'm also gonna make it a little longer. I'm gonna make it 3.5 in the length. And if you don't have this stitch, you can use a really narrow zigzag stitch. Don't forget the back stitch in the beginning. Make sure your edges stay lined up. When you get to your pins, make sure you remove them. When you get to the end, make sure you back stitch and cut. Now we're gonna sew up the other side of this extension. Now do the same thing for the other side and you'll be done. We are done, let's check out what we just did. So we've inserted the super cool pink leopard into the side of the striped shirt. We've matched it up at the underarm so you can see that that lines up beautifully. And then if we go all the way down here to the hem, we've got that hem finished and we've got it lined up and matched up down there as well. Now it's time to try it on, check it out, see how we did. Here it is. So I've got more room in the side, my bust, and my sleeve. My sleeve feels so much better. It was so tight before. So I use this really fun contrasting fabric, but obviously not everyone's gonna want a contrasting fabric. If you've got a black t-shirt, there's a great chance you just wanna buy a piece of black knit or upcycle another black t-shirt and cut it apart. So that way it looks seamless because if this wasn't contrasting, you would never know it was there. Now this t-shirt isn't too small, it's not too big, it fits me just right. And that's the great part about sewing. You can alter your clothes and make them fit you just how you want for your style and your body type. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to make your t-shirt bigger. I know there were a ton of requests for this one. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below in the comments and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you want more details on how to insert the triangle shape into the side of the seam, let me know as well. Leave that down below. And if you are interested, I'll do a video on it. And don't forget to subscribe to Sewing Anastasia. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, well, thank you for watching today. These videos are for you guys. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, I don't know, oh, X, yeah, that's what it's called now. Um, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see your projects, so make sure you tag me in them or send me over photos. And I would love to repost them so that way I can share your creativity with everyone else as well. And don't forget, I teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois. So sign up for those at SewingAnastasia.com. And literally coming in like two weeks, we have the online school starting. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.